I'd like to dedicate this to all of the Creator's righteous children. I have some food in my bag for you. Not that edible food, the food you eat? No, I have some food for thought. Since knowledge is infinite, it has infinitely fell on me. So, um... Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about me, Ice Turtle Girl. Now, I just came up with this channel about a couple of months ago, and I realized I don't have anything on there that really tells you what this channel is going to be about and who I am. So I decided to make this video today, while it's a beautiful December day, and I'm outside, out in nature, out in the world. As you can see, I'm at the park by my house, and it's really beautiful outside. And so I figured today was a better day than ever to just tell you guys a little bit about myself and what this channel is really going to be about and what it's going to focus on. So for those who don't know who I am, my name is Aisa and this is my channel. Um, the channel name is Ice Turtle Girl and where did I come up with that? Well, I came up with the name Ice Turtle Girl. The first part, Ice, came from a friend that I met in AmeriCorps, which I will be making a video on soon. Um, so when I was in AmeriCorps back in 2011, I had a friend, her name was Bronte, and she lives in Arizona. She's White Mountain Apache and she's one of my best friends. And she came up with the nickname Ice because we had first met each other when we first got to Denver, Colorado, where we were stationed at. And she was like, I'm not going to remember your name. I'm not going to remember Aisa. So she came up with the nickname Ice. And it was really cute. Me and her used to, she used to call me that all the time. I used to call her Bronte or B or something cute like that. And then our whole team started calling me Ice. And then all AmeriCorps started calling me Ice and just became like a nickname that stuck with me. So there's Ice. And then Turtle Girl is, I just love sea turtles and I have for my whole life. I'm a water girl um, and sea turtles and dolphins are one of my totems because I am Native American and so they're one of my spirit animals. And I just love turtles and dolphins and the sea and I'm just a water baby. So there's that. So I put it together and made Ice Turtle Girl. It is also the name of my blog, IceTurtleGirl.blog which you can check out and I have linked in the description box of all of my videos so you can go check out and see what I'm up to on my blog. I also have a podcast while we're plugging myself. Plug. I also have a podcast on soundcloud.com. If you type in soundcloud.com slash slash ice dog 49 which is also another nickname that my AmeriCorps group would call me. They would call me ice or ice dog. So
hard time with math and can have a hard time in science, although I do love biology and marine biology. Um, another thing about me is that I am a big music buff. I love music, all types of music from all different genres, from rock to hip hop to funk to psychedelic to um, R&B to pop to um, electronic to dubstep to everything in between. World music, Native American music, everything. The blues, jazz, I just love it all. I love music so much. And part of this channel is going to have things dealing with um, music as well as social justice and culture and 90s things because I love 90s things. Um, another one of my favorite movies of all time is Holes. You probably remember Holes from like 2004 and it came out with Disney and it was a really really good movie and I kind of was obsessed with it when it first came out and I've kind of been obsessed with it ever since and it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, another thing, I had braces for um, seven years between the, between the ages of 11 and 17. It was really, really, really crazy. But now I have them off and I have semi-okay teeth at this point in my life. See? They're kind of weird right now, but they're straight enough. Um, let's see. I currently live with my parents, which contrary to popular belief is not actually that bad and a lot of uh, kids millennials these days are living with their parents still which is totally okay and actually in my book it is a great thing to do to help and support your parents another thing is that I love to I love to um, Oh, I love photography. I love photography a lot, and I really wish I could get better at it. When I was in high school, I took a couple of photography classes my junior and senior year, and I really did like it, but I had some issues with my cameras, so I couldn't do all these assignments. So I kind of missed out on a few things that I really wish I knew right now. But I'm really into photography and really want to pick it back up. Um, I want to be a social justice journalist and I want to travel the world and be a travel journalist and tell the stories of little people. Um, I want to mix my activism, my love of music, and my love of travel and to make it into something beautiful in the future and help to sustain me when I get older. Um, if you are looking for a person to help you with anything related to social media or websites, hit me up, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. Um, also, I am very big on my culture. I grew up with around parents who were very big into teaching me my culture, whether that meant through my Native American heritage or through my African American heritage. Um, I also grew up Muslim, but practiced a lot of Native American um, spirituality as well. And I also um, live near DC, and as crazy as it seems, haven't been to DC as many times as I could have been growing up. Now, I did go to DC a lot with my parents, and my dad was a taxi cab driver in DC for a long time. And then he is now doing Uber after doing being a taxi cab driver for over 40 years. And I used to go to DC a lot, but not by myself, like not on my own. And so um, when I came home from AmeriCorps back in 2011, I started working in DC at a organization called the Rural Coalition, which is a national nonprofit that works with uh, uh, agriculture policy and food justice and farmer justice and all of the sort. Um, and I worked there for three years. In high school, I created my own club, which was the um, Native American Club. And I started with my best friend, her name is Keisha, and she is Cherokee as well. She actually lives on the Cherokee Reservation in North Carolina. 
And she uh, started with me and because uh, we were the only two really Native American kids in my school. So we started this club and it got pretty okay following. We did it our junior and senior year and it got an okay following and um, I'm pretty proud of it. So yeah. Um, what else? Um, I love to watch YouTube. Uh, here are a couple of YouTubers that I think are dope and you should go check out. Uh, Black Nerd Comedy, um, Seren, um, Safety Tests, um, Infinity on Hannah, ARTV, um, Megan Hughes, um, Koi Fresco, and the list goes on and on. Um, being such a big 90s buff, I love to follow all things 90s. So here are a couple of 90s uh, YouTube channels that you can go check out that are really dope. Um, the Nickelodeon Slime, Slime Cast podcast is really good. Um, and her name is Patricia who runs it. And she also runs the channel Manic Expression and Old School Lane. Go check out both of them. Um, okay, um, what else? Um, when I was three years old, I had a cyst under under my tongue, which is the size of a golf ball. It was like a little little thing like this, and it was like like the size of a teeny tiny itty bitty golf ball. And it was prohibiting me to really be able to eat the way I should have been eating when I was little. It was around the time I was three years old. And because of that, I was unable to eat uh, a lot of solid food. So I ate a lot of of mashed potatoes and oatmeal and cream of wheat and things like that. And it wasn't until I was like three years old that I had to go get surgery for it. But to this day, that is why I kind of chew with my front teeth instead of chewing with my back teeth as well as I should be. I do chew with my back teeth when I can, but it's just easier for me to uh, chew with my front teeth. And so I end up doing that more often than not. So if you see me doing weird things with my teeth, um, during videos and stuff, it's because of that. Um, yeah, uh, I'm a part of a women's organization called Echo Hermanus, which is a uh, national organization that works with uh, women and Mother Earth. And um, we help each other do different projects dealing with spirituality and art and activism and environmental ism and um, food justice and all of the sorts. So we really uh, help each other do different projects and we try to stay in communication a lot and we actually put out a film uh, two years ago called Near the River and it's about uh, women activists and environmentalists around the Anacostia River. And we also had a delegation go to Standing Rock uh, back in November for Thanksgiving weekend um, and it was really really great so uh, check them out as well and um, yeah I think that's a good amount of information about me if you want to know anything more about me um, just hit me up in the comment section down below and um, yeah I think this is too beautiful of a day to waste out on so I'm gonna go and finish taking my walk and finish uh, swinging on the swings, um, which by the way is my favorite thing to do at the park is swinging on the swings. You get such a leg workout from it, it's beautiful. But I'm gonna go and finish this beautiful walk on this beautiful December day. And uh, I will talk to you guys on the flippity flop, the flippity flop side. All right, stay groovy. Stay happy in 2017 and be blessed. Till next time, peace and blessings. Know what I want, it's me and you. Give me a sign, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more, no more. Whoa, 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 yeah, 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 hey, hey.